Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with a review of the Human Centipede 2. I don't do a lot of these, you know, standalone reviews very often, but a lot of people have asked me what I thought of the movie. I watched the movie on Time Warner On Demand. It was playing, I don't know if it might still be in theaters for the midnight showings. I know in theaters the movie was censored. Um, the Time Warner version, you know, I can't tell for sure if it's censored. There's a lot of people saying maybe, you know, they don't know, no one seems, seems to know for sure. Because um, there's also controversy about, you know, a certain review that was saying things that happened that may not have really happened. But, you know... Like, either way, the version that's on Time Warner is pretty extreme. You, there's a few parts where you you feel like maybe something's cut away, but you don't know. But the movie is a follow-up to Human Centipede, but it's not a direct sequel sequel. Like, it doesn't really connect. It doesn't happen. Nothing happens. It doesn't basically pick up after the first movie. It's basically about a person who's a... Um, the character Martin, who's like this the whole movie. Really cool. I mean, this guy is cool. He's scary, though. Um, basically, he's an obsessed fan with the first movie. Um, so it's basically, you know, it's about a person that's a fan of the human centipede. And he becomes obsessed with it. And he has, like, he's always watching it at his job, and he works at an underground parking lot. And I think he's through, like, security in there, or the guy you pay, something like that. But he's in there, and he's basically watching the cameras, and he's, you know, watching the whole time the human centipede, and he has a book with it that he's obsessed with, yet at the same time he lives, you know, his, you know, his mom is also a big part of the movie, this really crazy woman that can't stand him, and blames him for, you know, her husband leaving, and it's also the, the one character who was the coolest was the doctor with this huge beard, um, you know, first I want to say too, this is not a movie for everybody, this is definitely not a movie for people under the age of 17, you know, I think technically this movie would probably be X-rated, you know, if it was rated. Um, but it's, I don't think it is rated in, in the U.S. But, um, you know, as I said, he's obsessed with this movie, so he's watching the cameras, and basically he's kidnapping people, hitting them over the head with this crowbar, you know, which is not a smart move. You know, a lot of, some of the, you know, things don't always work out with this, the way he's doing it, because this guy doesn't have, you know, together, he's nuts. And basically he ends up, getting this building and building the centipede. You know, I don't want to ruin everything about, you know, I don't want to ruin too much. Um, I will say, though, there's some people have been saying they're upset that the movie's in black and white. You know, I thought the black and white aspect really was not, it really worked. And, it, you know, it's not just like regular black and white. It's real saturated, lots of, con I mean, lots of contrast to it. And it looks like you feel like you're watching like a 1933 movie that's twisted if somehow they made this extremely twisted movie in the 30s and that's what it feels like and you know the killer who plays martin is i don't know he's never acted before at least from what i've seen and he's so good you know um now i will say though it's in black and white but there is a bit of color in the movie i'm not going to ruin where it is but you will see some color um, I would definitely recommend watching this movie if you like the first movie, but you know, if you don't like things that are gory and you don't like gross out things, don't watch this. Like, when I first finished the movie, I didn't feel like I liked it that much. Then when you think about it, you know, it's really shot well, too. I mean, the cinematography in the movie is amazing. The person who did the cinematography is going to get a lot of work. He did really good. And if this movie wasn't so twisted, he would get awards for the cinematography. It was shot so good. It was shot, like, Academy Award quality, it was shot that good. You know, for a twisted thing like this. But he's basically trying to replicate the human centipede. And you even, the actual character, you know, the actress from the first film ends up, you know, he ends up getting in contact with her. And um, I don't want to say how things happen and, you know, what happens. Because, you know, the, the trailer doesn't show everything. And I don't want to ruin anything about the movie. Um, but like I said, though, this is totally not a movie for everybody. And, you know, a lot of people just will not like something like this. But, you know, it's a weird, creepy, strange movie that, you know, is not t typical to things. And, you know, I don't know. I thought it was very well done. I really did. But it's really gross. I will say you will feel a little sick after you watch the thing. Um, you know, I'm interested in seeing, you know, what happens in the next... There apparently is going to be a third part. So I'm interested in seeing, you know, what happens with this. 
But, you know, hopefully the character that plays Martin and the doctor go to conventions because you know how they have those photo op things. And I never would pay for that, but I would pay for a photo op with me and the doctor. You know, that that would be a cool picture. Anyway, though, um, you know, this is just a little quick review. You know, there's not too much to say about this, you know, because you really can't give away too much. Like I said, though, the do favorite character was that doctor. Creepy, really creepy doctor. But anyway, though, um, you know, look forward to hearing what you guys think of the film, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.